Jan, what projects do they have in store for them? Unlike the chicken coop, we're just asking you to set up your own study space. So we've all been sitting at whatever our quarantine space has been for the last year. And we're saying, how can you level that up? So whether it's some of the things we talked about tonight with um, looking at moisture and taking care of a plant or seedling, you know, try and get that air quality around you good. Whether your space is starting to warm up as spring has come and you need a little bit more airflow. Think about um, the different motors we have, maybe make yourself a nice fan. Or maybe you just spend too much time in front of your desk and you need something that's gonna blink like those nice lights we were looking at earlier to uh, remind you when to take a break. Or maybe you need a little entertainment, um, make a study buddy. We saw just a minute ago, the option of putting those wheels together. So you could maybe make a little small robot that uh, keeps you company at your desk. But one of the things that we're really asking you to think about as you start putting this together is how can you make it hands-free? So really take advantage of those sensors. We've got, I think, six or seven of them in the kit. And see if you can use that ultrasonic sensor that senses when you get close to something or that PAR sensor that senses your motion to really activate these things to happen instead of you having to flip a switch on and off. And so as we said, the recording will be shared and all of these challenges are also going to be posted up on the website. So watch for more information in the next day or two as kind of a recap of these as we get them up on the website. Of course, the end game here is to share the submissions with us. So once you've got your projects finished, we're gonna ask you to upload them into Make Projects. I'll be providing a quick video tutorial on how to do that. And so we'll be interested in finding out which of those challenges or themes that you chose that kind of helped you to brainstorm your prototype, what combinations you used of sensors and motors and lights, and then just put together a short one and a half to two minute video. And that's what we're gonna use in order to judge the contest. And if you recall, I think all of the uh, gift card rewards were something sweet. We had some things from Gertie Donuts from one of the local bakeries. I think, and something's brewing. So there's definitely some fun rewards. And once again, we're looking for the action of your prototype to be triggered by one of those sensors. Um, we picked the date of April 15th, not only because it gives us a nice two week window to work on these, but also because the Maker Fair is coming up on April 17th. And we really wanna spotlight and showcase all the great projects that you put together as this event happens on that day. So with that, um, certainly if anybody else has questions, go ahead and type them in. And I want to uh, take a minute to thank Derek for sharing this evening with us and really all that great information to get us started. Thank you so for all you. of you for sticking with me uh, remotely. So I'm, yeah, I'm excited to see the projects that come out of this. Um, I think that it's a really good kit and there's a, just enough, there's a good mix of, like you said, sensors and actuators to all of those challenges are achievable. And uh, it, someone, I want somebody to imp impress me to include, make something that is all three of them combined. 